Hey folks, so I wanted to film one last video while I still have the AI Prime on here. So this guy is pretty much, it, it's been doing a good job, but I have the opportunity, I got the dollars for different reasons, and this is by the way one of my favorite settings for the tank right now. The real reason for this video is not for me to look at corals and be happy and excited. It's because I got a new light. So I'm gonna jump over into the unboxing of that real quick and brace yourselves, folks. Wow. All right, so here we are. I'm pretty happy, uh, pretty happy with this. I really appreciate that they included the handle with care fragile sticker. I put the TY on there um, and this order I'm going to open with the world's dullest scalpel, Aqua Vitro. I genuinely don't know how you do what you do and how you sleep at night because that thing doesn't even work. Um, like it's, it's actually, I don't know if it, they just forgot to sharpen it or like what the deal is, but anyway. So let's get this puppy open. And thank you to reefsupplies.ca. Talk about anticlimactic, right folks? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Yet more paper. Oh my gosh. They really they really like wanted you to have that like presentation feel when you when you go to open it, so I appreciate that in a way. Lots of paper. Got some goodies. Alright. So I got the brand new to me and unopened, so technically new. Uh Kessel. A360X Tuna Blue. Talking about the various features on the back there, our dense matrix LEDs. Kessel Logic. Honestly, the Kessel Logic I think is the biggest thing. Everyone talks about PAR. I honestly think that Spectrum trumps PAR, and I think that using a formula that prevents you from screwing it up, you can't put a price on that. Now there is one other thing that should be in here, and I'm not seeing it just yet. Okay, there it is. So we got the Kessel Wi-Fi dongle, because for some reason, I understand they're trying to save costs, but at this point, to stay competitive, Kessel, I hope you're listening, you really should just build the Wi-Fi into all your fixtures. I know it's in the AP9X. I wanted to get the AP9X. Couldn't justify it price-wise at this point and for the size of tank that I have. Plus, the idea of going with two pendants gives you a little bit more flexibility. But I still, I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens on that front later. This, by the way, is the Vivid Aquatics RFG nozzle. Pretty popular. Lots of people talk about these. I got two of the, the half-inch ones. And they are going to pop on to the lock line, which I purchased as well. And I'm expecting I can put... Now, they tell you you're supposed to get an ap adapter. We're going to see if this works. But I think you can use these without the drop-down adapter that comes with the... Uh, that is meant for the Innovative Marine uh, IM25 Lagoon and the others who are kind of shallow and don't give you a lot of room. So, nice and bendable. Okay, let's get that stuff out of the way. All so these reflectors... Um, a lot of people might not care about the unboxings for these, but I think it is important. Triple center light intensity for SPS Coral. Well, one thing that you can also do with it is use it to prevent light bleed and mount the whole fixture a lot higher. Do not touch when light is on with reflector accessories. Okay, guys. So let's here, I'm gonna set this, actually edit that out instead of just leaving it. Okay, you can see my hands all torn up. That is because my little kitty likes to help me with all sorts of stuff. Okay. Open. Open. Says a me. Wow. And so this, actually, to be honest, for 35 bucks, it kind of feels a little flimsy. But it looks good. <laughs> and these two metal posts, or magnetic posts, should connect to which it did, the posts on the other side. Just like that. Slick. So we'll show before and after with that reflector on. 
as well. But one thing at a time. And then finally, we have the Kessel mounting arm. I think it's like the A80 or something mounting arm. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's the rigid one, not the gooseneck. And I think that's going to be what I want for this setup. But we're going to find out. So I'm not taking any par values of my existing light or anything. I took a little video there to show you kind of what the prime looks like. We're going to cut back to after I have the Kessel on there. All right, folks, and we're back. So today we're looking at the difference between the AI Prime 16HD and the Kessel A360X with narrow reflector and uh, dongle. So that's the 35 uh, degree reflector. So right now I have both of these running on the tank under their own set schedules. And obviously tank is very bright right now. A lot of the corals are kind of surprised because I just turned on both lights. Um, I actually, there is a bit of a time gap since I filmed the last video. So I had taken and run the Kessel now for about, it's been almost two, three weeks. Um, and I love it. Simply put, I, I absolutely love it. Um, we're gonna do a few things here and show you some of the, the difference between the two. I'm going to alternate between them so you can kind of see. I've got them set up pretty similar in terms of how they're running, so you can kind of uh, hopefully get an idea. And we'll go from there. In terms of the output and brightness, obviously Kessel's the winner. In terms of the fan sound, they're both pretty quiet at this setting, but the AI Prime actually does have definitely, <laughs> definitely it's got like a, a much louder fan noise, and you'll notice it a lot more too. Notice my cat. Um, in terms of the mounting options, obviously we're comparing a, a fixed mount with a gooseneck, not a fair comparison. But I do love the Kessel mount, and I also love the way that the Kessel mount actually uh, actually allows you to... Oh, let's see if we can pump that up a little for you. It actually has like some measuring built into it, which is really, really nice. and. I keep, uh, you know, I keep a measuring tape nearby my, my tank at all times anyway, because I do play with things, but I have to say that having this kind of a, a measurement system really does just make it that much easier to mount your lights, which is great. Also, everyone complained about the, um, the difference in trying to get the uh, cables routed in through the the mounting arm, and I have to say, it was honestly not an issue at all. I did it in a matter of, you know, matter of less than five minutes, <laughs> easily. Um, push down through, no problem. Obviously don't do it with this piece connected, do it with just, just that cable and leave the end sticking out. No problem whatsoever. Straight shot, down through. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's cut now to just showing a little bit of the the differences in the the lighting. I'm gonna edit all that out probably, but <laughs> basically, yeah, we're gonna switch between the two. Here's, by the way, just a front tank shot of the whole thing. So you have a little bit more of a noticeable shimmer on this side with the castle, and a little bit less and more of the color separation on the left. But what I wanted to show with them both running here is that you do get shimmer from both. So don't let anyone tell you that you don't. <laughs> you can absolutely get shimmer, but there is like a difference in terms of the quality. You can even see the way that the Kessel shimmer makes like these nice lines uh, that go through the, the side of the tank. You don't really get that as much. And again, even if you just look at the ceiling, uh, you know, the, the, the shimmer from the, from the prime over here, and it's hard to say that this is just the prime because it's not the only one on. Um, but it is very, it, it's like very round. Sorry, it's, it's really hard to, to show that right now. Um, but it is, it's, it's very like it's a round shimmer. I don't know how else to explain it. Looks like a bunch of little dots. Whereas, uh, and I'll do other videos on the Kessel shimmer later, but it's, uh, it's a bit more refined, I guess. It's more natural wavy looking, kind of like ovals and stuff. Anyway, um, we will get back to this shortly, but obviously if I had both these lights running on this tank, it is absolutely overkill minus the shadowing bit, but holy cow, does everything look great. So 
let's switch to the two lights in a comparable setting. All right, we're back. Now this may not look that different, but believe me, it does. <laughs> so I've, I've taken the white balance down a little bit. Um, so this is a very natural light. This is the tank with just the Kessel running. Um, and so I have the Kessel at 50-50. No added ultraviolet, no added red or green, just the, the light uh, running at 50% uh, color. 50% uh, color, 50% intensity. So now we're going to show the same thing from the AI Prime and try and get you... Th now, of course, I have to try and tune this to look quite similar. So this is a very white light to, to my eyes, so we're going to try and show the same. And again, that Kessel Shimmer. Oof. So here we are again. I intentionally didn't edit any of the camera settings so that we can get an idea of the difference in the brightness here. So something to note about the AI Prime, um, you really have to actually push the light into the, uh, like you have to actually add the, the cool, sorry, the royal blue and the blue in order to get a decent color. So I'm going to actually flip here again really quickly. You can see it's obviously not as bright. You can see that there is like a lot more color separation in the, the, um, the shimmer. I also find the shimmer more kind of intense. I don't know, like everyone talks about the Kessel Shimmer is intense, but to me the AI Prime Shimmer is very much just like in your face. <laughs> but again, the round shimmer on the, the ceiling. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what happens when you take the Royal Blue out, which was arguably a more fair comparison because Kessel doesn't technically have the Royal Blue, at least that I'm aware of. So here we are again, and this is now the AI Prime running 50-50 uh, cool white, soft white and the blue without the royal blue and you can see that the color is very very white like it's um <laughs> it's actually i think my camera's almost even doing it a favor right now because it's it's a really yellowy green tone to my eyes like i am going to correct the, the white balance but i'm going to put it back after i'd say it's more i don't know i'd say it's more kind of like kind of like this to my eyes almost um, yeah, so I'm obviously not a fan of this setting, but it does light the tank. Um, I wouldn't say it's super bright or that anything's going to be crazy popping, but who knows? I could be wrong. Um, either way, that is the AI Prime. So again, that differential. So now we're going to put everything at 100% and show you the difference on both. So I'm going to put all the channels on both at 100% and see where we end up. So first up, this is the, oh, let me put that back at 7200 so that we are keeping it a fair comparison. So first up, this is the, uh, the AI Prime with all the channels set to 100. So like it, it lights the lagoon and honestly, I used to run the light a lot less than 100% and I, I think that I probably could have ran it higher with just the, the Prime. Uh, but yeah, so it, it's kind of hard to say honestly, but, um, so that's the prime. And now we're going to switch back to the Kessel. So here is now the Kessel with all the channels maxed. And as you can tell from my camera, that is kind of, uh, getting blown out right now. It is a ton of light, just an absolute ton. Um, I, I really don't know how else to explain it other than that, but this is, uh, a crap ton of light. Now again, I do have that narrow reflector on, so this is, I don't want to run this too, too long, because it will be a lot for the corals and everything else. Uh, check out, <laughs> check out the difference in that shimmer again. It's really bright and natural. And again, same on the sides. You got that really cool, like you, you just don't get the, that vertical line shimmer like that with the, uh, with the prime, I find. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, holy cow, everything is <laughs> Everything is very, uh, very lit, we'll say. So, Kessel, bring in, the, bring in the light. Okay, we're going to switch this into more of a blue, but still keeping the intensity up, and then we'll try it again with the Kessel, or with the uh, AI Prime. We're just going to go for, actually, let's go for the most, like, neon poster kind of thing I can do. Let's, let's start there. All right, so I haven't adjusted the white balance here, so things are a little blown out, but this is the, the Kessel with the... The blues really tuned up. So this is at color one 
intensity 60, uh, ultraviolet 75, 10 red, 0 green, and uh, yeah, it's, it's doing a really good job. Things are fluorescing, we've got like that gold mushroom showing up really well. Um, this isn't actually filmed at night, so there is like natural light in the room, so it's not quite as bright as some of this stuff could have been, but it should be giving you an idea of uh, what we can do. I am going to push the white balance now that I've shown you at the same place, just to see if I can get it a little more natural. Um, not really, because I'm not using an orange filter or anything, so we're just using white balance for adjustment here, but to show you the opposite, that's kind of if we didn't have it on. <laughs> and. This is uh, with the most correction we can do. So it's it's really, really bright. Now one thing about the Kessel is the cameras have a very hard time with the ultraviolet light that it produces because uh, it's, it's, it's real ultraviolet. <laughs> it's one of the few LED fixtures out there that actually has genuine ultraviolet light. So from that regard, you're gonna find it's uh, a little tricky to film, but if I was to turn the ultraviolet down, it would be less neon to my eyes, but probably easier to read on the camera. But yeah, definitely does a very good job of highlighting uh, these corals, especially like that Space Invader Pectinia you can see from the other side of the world. Pretty sure, super bright. Um, okay, so let's switch to the AI Prime. All right, so we're back again, and this time we are showing the AI Prime. Uh, and it is set to 75 for the ultraviolets and the violets, and then about uh, 100 for the or 125 for the royal blues and the blues to try and get a similar effect. Definitely not as bright. Definitely uh, a different quality of light. Like so, for example, this mushroom over here on the right really doesn't uh, glow in the same way that it kind of did under the castle. Um, it's a you know it's uh, it's orange, but it's certainly not like fluorescing to the same degree because it's like under the castle it's a very bright gold almost, and you really don't get that with um, the AI Prime. Something I'll also say is that these actually look okay under the Prime now, but before when they were only under the Prime, like before I got the castle, those little uh, lighter colored highlights that you see weren't even there. So that's new color that's shown up with the Kessel. And same for this, like the GSP. <laughs> Not that we all want to build our tanks around the GSP, but I gotta say that um, in terms of this coral, it was one of the ones that had the most visible color shift to me in terms of just seeing how it changed. Uh, also, since adding the Kessel, a lot of these uh, Pallies, uh, Armageddon Pallies or whatever they are, uh, used to be a lot more um, they were a lot longer and kind of reaching, and since adding the Kessel, they're getting squashed down and kind of brightening up, which is typical of when there's more light available. So again, keeping with that theme. Overall, I'm, you know, I, I'd also add that at any point, if you've heard fan noise during this video or the other one, it's been the AI Prime. Even when I was showing the Kessel video, uh, the Prime's fan was actually still running. So just a, just a disclaimer for folks who might be wondering about that. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, that is kind of the comparison of the two lights and their features. I'm sure this is still going to be pretty long, so I don't want to go too much further, but I'll edit all this together and hopefully you can get an idea. And I'm just going to take my Kessel, put it back on uh, where it is at its schedule so that we can finish out the video there. So you kind of get a one last differential. And here we are back to the Kessel. Um, so this is uh, only 30% intensity here. Uh, I have it pretty low because I have a very long photo period in the day, so noon and 12 o'clock is not technically my peak. Um, my peak is more around later in the day. I also have acclimation mode on because I'm coming from the prime, so I'm trying to let it ramp up. So this is like 86% of 30% for you math folks in the room. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely an interesting comparison between the two lights. Uh, I'll be selling the, the Prime. None of this was sponsored. Uh, <laughs> but hey, Kessel, if you're watching, happy to, uh, to consider adding a second here because, you know, help with shadowing, all that kind of fun stuff, um, even if you run them at a lower percentage. And generally, running your LEDs at a lower percentage is going to be healthier for them anyway in the long run, so if you can do it, definitely recommend uh, giving that a try. But uh, yeah, so thank you folks. Um, 
can't really do a whole lot more there. Neat. I guess I can... Nope. <laughs> Thought I might be able to get you something that's a little closer to reality here. It's still, still not totally right, but whatever. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and hope you learned something about the, making the choice between these two lights. The Kessel A360X and the AI Prime 16 HD. And I'll finally just add that this is all on a IM25 Lagoon. And it's a pretty fun little tank. If you're limited by gallon size, I highly recommend something like this. Uh, it gets you a lot of footprint with not a lot of water volume.